Our first guest tonight is a very funny actor you know from movies like This Is 40, Anchorman, and Clueless. He returns to the Marvel Cinematic Universe in Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, which premieres in theaters in IMAX February 17th. Please welcome back to the show our very good friend, Paul Rudd, everybody! <laughs> You are uh, you're riding high for a lot of reasons. One, movie coming out. More importantly, for a guy like me, you're Kansas City Chiefs Super Bowl champions. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you very much. You got to be at the game. I went. Fantastic. Oh my gosh, what a what a whirlwind uh, that experience is. And it's it's just thrilling, you know, when your team wins. Especially I've been a fan for a long, long time, so this is kind of a new experience. And you had your son Jack with you. Yeah. And that must make it extra special. Because again, this yeah. is something that you, uh, he would not be a football fan if it wasn't, or he wouldn't be a Chiefs fan if it wasn't for you. Right, because I guess he started kind of rooting for them when he was about six yep. or so. He's 18 now. Um, and it's true. It, like the best thing is to be able to kind of share this with your kid. So, uh, yeah, it, it was it was just it was awesome. So they won in 2020 when they won. Uh, that was you know a big deal for. I mean, again, you as well as Jack, but it must have been such a cool moment to share as a father and a son. It was uh, that whole run um, really was just massive, and it, it started this whole thing. And it was such a nice feeling because you know in, in that year. Um, in the first playoff game, the Chiefs were down by 24 points against the Texans. And I really was the first time I did kind of have this, why do I do this? My son was so despondent. Yeah. He was so sad, just kind of walking around, went into another room. Yeah. And I really had kind of that by myself. I was, I was really upset and mad because this is not... This is not worth it. Yeah. It's not worth putting yourself through this kind of despair. I feel like I know all Eagles fans are feeling this right now. I know all fans of other teams are feeling this right now. But I feel like, so this is the thing that happened to me that you did uh, to Jack, right? Which is Jack's also never lived in Kansas City. No, no, he's never in his life. And he's a diehard Chiefs fan. And I'm the same way. Like, I'm a huge Pittsburgh Steelers fan because right. of my dad. He fully just did it to me. And yeah. I remember the same thing in my teens when things were going bad for the Steelers. Yeah. I'd be so upset. And my dad would say, look, it's not that important. I'm like, you taught me. Care. It's the truth. It's like, why do we do this to them? I wonder, how does your wife feel about it? Because that's the other thing, is my uh, wife, who's watched me go through the roller coaster, has basically said, like, I don't know if I'm cool with, like, two more of these in the house. It might be three. My daughter is really young, and she watched the game, and she wrote Chief's Kingdom and Pan on her arms. And uh -huh. she was, she loves, she goes, I want a Kadarius Tony jersey. Wow. She's, and she's young, but she is also really into it. I know why we brought this into the house. It's like adopting a dog that, and, and. That <laughs> like a like, super old dog. A super old dog. You're just like, this is, we're just bringing, we're inviting in disappointment. <laughs> We want a puppy. Well, I got good news and mostly yeah. bad news. Yeah. This is not... <laughs> we're, the time that we're going to have with him is going to be very special. Yeah. But it's going to be very, very short. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, so I, I, I want to ask you about something. Right around Christmas, we do this thing called day drinking on the show, and I was doing it with Lizzo, yeah. and uh, your name came up. I saw it. Yeah, all right, and again, uh, you, it must be very exciting because Lizzo, let me tell you, one of the most charming human beings. I don't know if you've been lucky enough to meet her. I've never met her. I watched, I mean, I watched it when it was on the show, and when I heard Lizzo say my name, I was like, no. I was like, oh, I, yeah. I, got, I got all excited. <laughs> and it's, a, by the way, it's a weird thing when you're not expecting to hear that. In, yeah. You hear, and that segment was hilarious, by the way. That whole, every time you do it, it's so funny. She really did sort of raise the bar. I, I keep telling people she's so deeply funny. In, even while we're like inebriated, she oh. like talks like a comedy writer. So funny, so charming. Um, it was yeah, it was it was great. She I, also uh, I, I've told this a few times, but the great thing uh, to bring it back to my dad, uh, you know, her one of her catchphrases is "bye, bitch." Right. And uh, we left a message, we left a voicemail for my dad, and she said she ended it by saying "bye, bitch." Yeah. <laughs> then independent of me, she got my dad's information and sent him flowers with a note that said, I'm sorry I called you a bitch. <laughs> and my brother and I call him a bitch all the time. We've never <laughs> apologized. <laughs> you owe him a lot of flowers? Yeah, we owe him a lot of flowers. Oh, that is... You made us root for the Steelers, you bitch. <laughs> um, <laughs> so anyway, uh, but the reason your name came up is one of our writers walked out 
and he was wearing a mask, yeah. and Lizzo, and again, she'd had a few drinks. Right. She thought it was Paul Rudd. She right. thought it was you. Um, so the writer's here today, but first I want to show the first half of the clip, and then we're going to bring out the writer, Seth Reese. So okay. here's, here's Lizzo uh, noticing our writer the first time. Uh, I'm calm now. All right, let's bring him over. <laughs> Paul <laughs> Rudd! Paul Rudd! Hey, Lizzo, <sighs> I know the real reason you're breaking up with me is that you met famous Hollywood actor Paul Rudd, who's Stop. now going to take his mask off, and I want you to react to it in real time. All right, so now we're going to bring out the writer. And we're gonna let you guys decide, was Lizzo crazy? <laughs> All right, you know what? Not, not, not as bad as I thought. I owe an apology to Lizzo. Uh, but now, uh, this is the really exciting part, guys. Because uh, again, I think you're agreeing with Lizzo. This is not too far afield until you see the rest of the face. <laughs> Because a lot of other stuff can happen. This better not be. This be it better be. Oh, Two snowflakes can be alike. We'll be right back with more from Paul Rudd, everybody. 